Ben on TRT. Stop blocking your estrogen. I've said this before, but I think it's worth repeating. You should not be taking an aromatase inhibitor, an AI, an estrogen blocker, Armadex, and Astrozole just because you are on testosterone replacement therapy. If your clinic is automatically giving you this medication, it's because they are lazy and they don't know what they're doing. It's going to do more harm than good in the long run for the majority of patients. Anastrozole is for treating breast cancer in women. Now, yes, it will work if you have actual gynecomastia, an actual mass or nipple sensitivity to the point where it hurts to put your shirt on. In those cases, which are relatively rare on an appropriate TRT protocol, yes, I will prescribe a short course of anastrozole, but it almost never should be taken long term. We need estrogen. As men, we convert our testosterone into estrogen. So the higher testosterone is, it only makes sense for your estrogen to also get higher. It's the ratio that matters, not necessarily the absolute number. Estrogen is important for mental health, for bone health, sexual health. We need estrogen. Now, anastrozole comes with a lot of warnings, one of which increased risk for ischemic cardiovascular disease. Now, it also decreases bone mineral density. Women who are taking this drug for breast cancer often need to get DEXA scans to screen for osteoporosis because they end up breaking bones on this drug. Now, as men on TRT, this risk isn't so concerning because testosterone will increase bone mineral density. But if you're taking this long term and you're crashing your estrogen, then yes, you will have to be concerned about your bone health. A lot of the guys also report joint pain, tendon pain, muscle aches while on this medication. It's very common. Elevated cholesterol. A lot of you guys already have problems with cholesterol. Why would you take a drug that's going to make it even worse? Side effects include hot flashes, vasodilation, fatigue, mood disturbances, nausea and vomiting, weakness, arthritis, pain, arthralgia, pharyngitis, depression, hypertension, bone pain, increased cough, osteoporosis, and rash. Now, if you need the medication, that's one thing. But the vast majority of you guys on testosterone replacement therapy do not need this medication. If you've never had gynecomastia, you've never had severe nipple sensitivity, masses, ask your provider why they put you on it. If they can't give you an answer for why they prescribed you that drug, I have no idea why you're giving them your money.